All this abundance is the result of one species' hard work. A beaver's pond creates ideal habitat for a vast diversity of wildlife. For this, they are known as a keystone species, one whose presence supports an entire ecosystem. Despite a four-year drought in California, this Santa Cruz mountain stream is still flowing. Streams with beaver have nine times the water as other equivalent areas without beaver. They are true water savers. In 2008, beavers began to inhabit the South San Francisco Bay Area. And in 2013, a family of beavers took up residence in downtown San Jose along the Guadalupe River, in the middle of Silicon Valley. This family of three beavers was challenged by local officials as being non-native to the area, because the natural history of beavers in California has widely been misunderstood. Early settlers and trappers were in California before the gold rush and nearly wiped out California's beaver population. By the 1900s, beavers were considered non-native in much of the state. Recently digitized records from museums and universities have helped researchers and beaver advocates restore beavers to the rightful place in California's history books. The published literature in um, not just California Fish and Game, but other journals about wildlife, was there were beavers in every other state in the United States, every province in Canada, even northern Mexico, but somehow not in California. California, except for the Delta, the rest of California was considered just inhospitable for beaver. So that set me off on, on uh, talking to Heidi Perriman and others. Let's get a group of people together and see if we can prove the evidence that beavers uh, were native. All the Indian tribes in California have words for beaver. Not only do the Chumash in Santa Barbara have a word for beaver, the father of the head of the tribe's name is Chipik, which means beaver. An archaeologist, Charles Darwin James, found a beaver dam in an incised creek high in the Sierras in Plumas County. He radiocarbon dated the wood at the top of the dam, the middle of the dam, and the bottom of the dam, and it came out at the top of the dam 1850 A.D., which is just what you'd expect. Our gold rush happens in 1849. The Americans come swarming in. The beavers get trapped out. The middle of the dam was 1280 A.D., the bottom of the dam was 850 or 880 A.D. The beavers have been rebuilding this dam for a thousand years. We found physical evidence of beaver uh, on a, uh, an archaeological dig uh, on the north coast, in the Emeryville Shell Mounds, uh, in the bay, from reliable observer records all the way from the northern Sierras to the southern uh, the upper Kern watershed. We published that paper in California Fish and Game. So what I hope is that these papers, by proving that they, they are native, will allow them to be better protected. Although beavers benefit the environment, they also come into conflict with humans. In 2014, it was estimated that over 4,000 beavers were trapped and killed in California. One of the surprising things we found was that the most common problem beaver were depredated for was landscaping. It was eating trees which is a totally fixable problem. One of the things we do in Martinez is we wrap the trees we need to protect, so you're wrapping them with wire. Then also, some of the trees that we want to protect, we can paint with sand. And the beavers don't like the gritty texture, and they're not gonna chew. But the common problem that beavers cause in cities is blocking culverts. Think of it from a beaver's point of view. Culvert looks like a hole in the dam, and they're just, plugging up that one small hole and they get this big dam as a result. And we have about a 95% success rate in solving culvert problems. Basically it's just a pipe with a cage at the end and the cage keeps the beavers from plugging up the pipe. It's also cost effective because if you think about it, if you trap and get rid of those beavers, you're just gonna get new ones. But if you find a way to coexist with the beavers you have now, they will use their territorial behaviors to keep away anyone else. 
beavers have been storing water on the land for millions of years and they do all the things that permaculture experts tell us we need to do with our water. Alhambra Creek used to go dry every summer. Now the beavers are there, it doesn't. You know, the research out of NOAA is basically saying the only way we're going to save our salmon population is if we are able to allow beavers to do what they do. And as much as California depends on its salmon population, you would think that we would be very interested in the advocates of salmon. Our job is to figure out how to you know, manage their behavior, but also benefit from their behavior. And there are tremendous benefits. These are engineers that will work on site 24 seven and not get paid except for a little willow. So um, if a city has able to use that kind of resource, so they really should. If ever there was a time to help beaver populations build their dams and keep our waters on our land, it's now in the most severe drought in history in California. We can let all this water run into our bays and oceans where it's unusable, or we can keep it on the land, keep the water tables high, so that all the animals that, de that depend on this, including us, can have access to this fresh water. Mm -hmm.